His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa issued a number of royal decrees. Royal Decree 73 for the year 2016, appointing Dr. Ibrahim Janahi as Chief Executive Officer of the Labour Fund Tamkin for a three year term. Royal Decree 74 for the year 2016, appointing Mohammed Al Qaed as Chief Executive Officer of the Information and E Government Authority with the rank of Under Secretary. Royal Decree 75 for the year 2016, reappointing Mohammed Bubshait as General Director of the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority for a term of three years, and Royal Decree 76 for the year 2016, organizing the structure of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority. His Royal Highness Deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received at Gudebiya Palace today the newly appointed Egyptian ambassador to Bahrain, Ms. Suha Al Far. His Royal Highness highlighted the deep-rooted historic relations between Bahrain and Egypt and pointed out the two countries' keenness to reinforce joint cooperation to achieve the best interests of both countries and people. He wished the newly appointed Egyptian diplomat success in performing her duties and consolidating joint cooperation, stressing the role of Egypt in supporting Arab solidarity in addition to its tremendous efforts in dealing with all challenges facing the nation, specifically the danger of terrorism. His Royal Highness said the strong bonds between the two countries supported the bilateral relations and strategic ties in light of exchanging official visits which enhanced domestic and investment cooperation in addition to other fields. For her part, Ms. Alfad expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his care and interest to further strengthening bilateral relations in all fields, confirming a keenness to contribute through her term in Bahrain to promote joint cooperation. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudebiya Palace today a number of senior state officials. The Prime Minister confirmed the importance of unifying stances in dealing with different issues, highlighting the strengths of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia thanks to its leadership and honourable stances for the Arab and Islamic nations. He said the stances of brotherly countries in support of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia reflects respect and appreciation in its Arab, Islamic and international surroundings. His Royal Highness pointed out the deep-rooted historic relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia based on unity of religion and destiny, which have made bilateral relations a model of ties between the countries. The Prime Minister confirmed the necessity of unifying Gulf decisions in regards to the region's security and stability and the importance of unifying stances throughout its shared destiny. His Royal Highness also highlighted how Bahrain journalism has dealt with the political and social situation and its national responsibility in handling all events. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudebiya Palace today the newly appointed Egyptian ambassador to Bahrain, Ms. Suha Al Far. His Royal Highness confirmed the deep rooted historic relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of Egypt and the ongoing development in joint cooperation in all fields. The Prime Minister expressed Bahrain's keenness to further enhance cooperation and coordination and pointed out support to the newly appointed ambassador from all government bodies, wishing her success in performing her diplomatic duty. For her part, the Egyptian ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, highlighting his keenness to consolidate cooperation in all fields. She also expressed pleasure in working in the Kingdom, taking into consideration the deep-rooted bilateral relations. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudebiya Palace today the General Secretary of the Al Menba National Islamic Society, Dr. Ali Ahmed Abdullah, along with several members of the Society's board. 
His Royal Highness confirmed the government's keenness to support the work of societies and civil society institutions to perform their national role in supporting the development and modernization process of the kingdom. He highlighted the effective participation of national political societies in the success of parliamentarian action in Bahrain, stressing the necessity to unify efforts for the best interests and prosperity of the country. The Prime Minister pointed out the role of al Manbar National Islamic Society in accordance to national foundations to, that support preserving the kingdom's security and stability. He said Bahraini society is rich in intellectual and cultural aspects, calling on enhancing openness and varying approaches in dealing with different issues in service of the kingdom and its people. He said the ongoing challenges facing the region require unity to protect the country's security and stability. For his part, our member society general secretary expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his role in supporting national issues in meeting the demands of the people, highlighting His Royal Highness's stance which preserved the status of Bahrain regulatory and internationally. The Commander-in-Chief of BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, arrived in Saudi Arabia today on a visit to inspect BDF forces participating with the Arab Coalition forces under the leadership of Saudi Arabia. On arrival, he was welcomed at King Abdullah International Airport in Jazan by the assistant to the Saudi Defense Minister Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Ayesh and a number of other senior officers. During the visit, the BDF Commander-in-Chief met officers and non-commissioned officers, along with members of the Royal Artillery Group in Jazan region and the Royal Bahraini Air Force at King, Hamid, at, at King Fahed Air Base in Taif, where he was briefed on duties assigned to them and the progress of their operations. He also inspected combat jets and military vehicles participating in military operations. On the occasion, the BDF Commander-in-Chief underlined the participation of BDF in Arab coalition operations in implementation of the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, in the GCC Joint Defence Agreement, with the historical bonds of brotherhood between them, and in the framework of the Joint Arab Defence Agreement. He also conveyed to them the greetings of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier. The BDF Commander-in-Chief underlined the courage of duty forces affiliates in maintaining Arab national security and regional stability, wishing them, with all their fellow troops stationed on the borders of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, a speedy victory. Later this evening, the Commander-in-Chief of the BDF returned home.
The Civil Aviation Authority at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications announced today that all flights to and from Iran have been suspended. The Civil Aviation Authority said that in light of the decision taken by the Kingdom of Bahrain to cut diplomatic ties with Iran, it has directed national carrier and other airlines to suspend all flights to and from Iran. The Civil Aviation Authority stressed the national carrier will take all necessary measures to resolve any disturbances this may cause to those due to travel. First Deputy Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ali Al Aradi, chaired today the weekly meeting. The Council approved a suggestion regarding the government taking necessary measures to solve annual problems caused by rain. The Council also approved a suggestion regarding cutting commercial relations and diplomatic ties with Iran and cutting air and sea navigation, and agreed to issue a statement supporting the steps and procedures taken against Iran in order to support the measure taken by Saudi Arabia to maintain security and stability. The Council approved a report by the Services Committee regarding the establishment of a national commission that regulate professions and health services, and the Council approved a report by the Economic and Financial Affairs Committee regarding amending the free trade agreement between Bahrain and the USA, along with another report by the same committee on the agreement between Bahrain and Portugal regarding double taxation. <laughs> 